wealth creation is actually dull and boring well welcome to subramani.com and uh, please click on the bell icon please uh, subscribe to the channel and please give me feedback about what you like and what you do not like so let me go back to what i said wealth creation is dull and boring at many times you wish your portfolio rocked and it went up every day by a small amount every day when you look at your portfolio you want it to be in the green you want all the investments that you made to be in the green preferably and such a thing should happen every day continuously for months weeks days years whatever unfortunately your portfolio doesn't rock every day there are times when it does nothing there are times when it does well and you're afraid that uh, this may not be sustainable uh, there are times when it does very badly there are times when it bleeds you have to sustain through all this so what are the steps when why is it invisible uh, apart from being boring it is invisible because when it happens very slowly you don't even realize it is happening so therefore it is invisible and what all can you do to enhance it now if you are young and if you are earning uh, and you are investing in direct equities every year you will get a dividend what do you do with the dividend you let it lie in your bank account that's a mistake whatever be the amount let's say uh, last week i got a dividend from a company called sgl doesn't matter what is the name uh, and it was about a lakh of rupees so what do you do with 1 lakh you either reinvest it or you spend it now if you don't have a reason to spend it or any reason to save it you will reinvest it so where do you reinvest simple you in i have to just invest it in sgl that is called reinvesting the dividends when you reinvest the dividends you take away the need to think about where to put that 1 lakh which you have received from a particular company give it back to that company because that is what you would have done in case of a mutual fund you would have got for gone for a growth option which means no dividend would have been paid to you here the dividends are coming to you so far it was tax free now it is taxable so at least the amount which is received can be put back into the same company or if you want to uh say that there is taxable uh, income so therefore 1 lakh minus 30000 so 70000 can be reinvested right assuming you are at the 30% slab so that is one thing you can do what are the other things that you can do must do have to do uh or what you must not do right spending more than you are earning now this is a little funny not everybody knows that they should not spend more than what they are earning so there are two types of savers strong savers and weak savers both of them let us say oh, the strong saver is saving 30% of his income and the weak saver is saving 20% of his income the weak saver does not believe that he should be saving that is the at mental attitude which is the problem now after 4 5 year, months of saving uh, suddenly the fridge needs a replacement for the so the weak saver immediately says oh my fridge needs a replacement he breaks his saving habit whether it is an rd or a fixed deposit or whatever and goes and buys the fridge nothing wrong with this but the whole attitude is i am postponing expenses rather than i am creating wealth now obviously uh postponing expenses is something which you will do because you need to create wealth for you need to create wealth for yourself in the longer run so that is something which you will do but it does not mean that you will not keep money for growth so you need to create two separate buckets one which are postponing expenses maybe you do an sip in a debt fund and say after this reaches a particular level i will keep replacing assets otherwise i will not need a new ac need a new fridge yes you can do that you create a portfolio of say 10000 rupees a month or 5000 rupees a month which means you create 60000 end of 3 years you have 1 lakh 80 and then you reach a comfortable level saying whenever i need to replace an asset i just dip into this fund that is one way of doing it the second way of doing it is to say 
I will replace these assets every 5-6 years, so I till it is 6 years old or 10 years old or 15 years old depending on which asset and how much you use it. You can do this to a plan. Of course, if it conks off and in the, in the middle of summer if your fan conks off, fans don't require funding today, it's much, very cheap. But if your AC requires to be replaced, well, the fund can be used. If your fridge needs to be replaced, it can be used. The washing machine use the fund right so create for yourself a discipline saying i will not jump into my investments or my saving just to buy something for that i will create a separate fund so maybe it is over and above the 20 percent which you are anyway investing right so you also realize that for wealth to be created you need to do something called continuous compounding like a mango tree a mango tree doesn't stop contributing to you exactly like that an equity fund doesn't stop contributing to you you have to continuously compound continuous compounding includes uh, the amount of money that you return to the company the dividend with the company pays now over 30 40 years believe me that money that you give back to the company the dividend which you reinvest in the shares of that company can be huge and substantial don't ignore those numbers. Don't think it is only 10,000 a month or only uh, 10,000 a year or only 1 lakh a year, depending on the size of your portfolio. Whatever you get, 750 rupees, 1,000 rupees, 2,000 rupees, whatever dividend you get, just buy the shares of the same company which gave you the dividend. In case of mutual funds, you have none of these problems. Money gets reinvested. You are in the uh, growth plan so nothing anyway comes to you so that is easier to handle and equity portfolio just reinvest the dividend and keep reinvesting more and more of what you are getting thank you